In the 1950s, cinema was under the threat of something revolutionary. Television. Filmmakers were looking for ways to differentiate their films from the glowing popularity of TV. They sought to create a cinematic experience that could not be replicated on the small screen. This led to the development of the anamorphic lens, which introduced the unique widescreen aspect ratio and distinctive optical characteristics that we've all become accustomed to today. In 1952, the French engineer and cinematographer Henri Chretien? 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 Henri Chretien. Henri Chretien. That. He invented the anamorphic lens, known as the cinemascope lens. His goal was to expand the limited aspect ratio of standard 35mm film and project it onto a wider screen. His invention comprised of a cylindrical lens element that compressed the image horizontally onto the film negative. The first film to use an anamorphic lens was The Robe in 1953, directed by Henry Costa. It was released and marketed in a format called Cinemascope, which quickly gained popularity. The anamorphic lenses used in this system allowed filmmakers to capture a much wider field of view, while still utilising the standard and widely accepted 35mm film stock. Today we're going to explore how we can achieve the anamorphic look without the need for an expensive anamorphic lens. Anamorphic lenses are becoming much more affordable, but crikey, they're still bloody expensive. If you're a filmmaker or content creator on a low budget, then this video is for you. So let's dive right in. Let's quickly discuss what the anamorphic look is, characterised by horizontal lens flares, oval bokeh and a unique distortion that adds visual interest to your footage. But don't worry, even if you don't have an anamorphic lens, there are still some ways to achieve a similar effect. Technique one, the aspect ratio. The first technique is to adjust the aspect ratio. Anamorphic footage is typically wider than the usual 16 by 9 ratio. You can simply crop your footage in post or change the aspect ratio in your editing software. Experiment with aspect ratios like 2.35 by 1 or even wider depending on the desired effect. This should hopefully give your video a more cinematic feel. Technique 2, good old lens flares. Lens flares are the signature element of the anamorphic look. To create an artificial lens flare, you can add them in post-production. There are a few ways to do this in post, and I won't go through these now, but in the description I will leave links to videos that I think are quite helpful when trying to composite artificial anamorphic lens flares onto your footage. Technique 3, the bokeh. Oval bokeh is another characteristic of anamorphic lenses. To imitate this effect, you can create a DIY bokeh filter. Cut out of cardboard or plastic a shape that fits over your lens with a small oval shaped circle in the centre. Attach it securely to your lens and when you shoot with a shallow enough depth of field, the bokeh will take on the shape of the hole in the filter that you made, giving that anamorphic oval bokeh. Technique 4, distortion. Anamorphic lenses often introduce unique distortion that can enhance the visual appeal of your images. They're sort of perfectly imperfect. To achieve a similar effect, you can use a lens distortion plugin. Plugins like lens distortion, optical flares, or the Vashamorphic plugin for After Effects. These offer effects that can simulate the anamorphic softness that you often get towards the corners of the screen. So there you have it, a few budget friendly techniques to achieve the anamorphic look on a budget without the need for expensive anamorphic lenses. Remember that whilst these techniques can replicate some aspects of the anamorphic look, they're not a replacement for the real thing, obviously. Experiment, get creative, and find what works best for your style in your projects. Hello everybody, how's it going? If you like this video, then don't forget to give it a like it really does help to beat the YouTube algorithm. If you're new to the channel, then make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all of the content being released on this channel. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.